This week in science we've been studying DNA and as part of the project for DNA they have all had to construct a box or maybe not a box the idea was to <laughs> construct a piece of DNA or keep constructing it during the lesson depending how it goes <laughs> and some of them some of them did a lot of writing on it. Some people worked out what colour A, T, C and G should be. And I can't do this sideways, so I'll have to go backwards. There we go. And some did that. Yes, it's it's a DNA model I was looking at. Some have worked really hard on the label. The label's lovely. Do, 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 do. So, a strand of DNA is a t looks like a twisted ladder. And that's here, what we've got here is a huge twisted ladder that's turning round. It's joined by, or it was before it fell apart. <laughs> it's joined by the rungs. The rungs are made up of two pairs of bases. And the only way those bases combine is either A to D, T, sorry, A to T, or, yeah, it's not your face, <laughs> Arnold or Helio, it's your DNA. Although, French enough, your DNA is responsible for your face. Right. Thanks for moving that man well, because I couldn't move the camera. A to T and C to G. I can see. And A and T will never separate. <laughs> Let us C and G neither. I don't think I actually got your thumb in there. Jerry's still doing his English homework, which is slightly... Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's quite good, you know, Jerry. That's too and we've got a whole drawing there, because that was it. Yes, just don't keep throwing... Yeah, yeah, I'll tour it. Nobody wants to see your face. Well, nobody that I know wants to see your face. And then Francisco is done. So, that's the sixth grade, that's the uh, DNA sample, and uh, now we'll probably have a math quiz. <laughs>